right now we've got, I believe, this decides who makes it out of the pool. Cardia versus um, Ziggurath. I could be mistaken, actually. Yeah. That sounds right. Uh, someone in the Twitch chat mentioned earlier if there was a Start GG link that they were missing, and the short answer is no. Um, I don't think anyone's doing live tournament tracking. Oh, is it actually just in the seeding bracket? Yeah, it's in the seeding bracket. Ah, interesting. So. Oh, nice. So interesting. So Ziggurath is two and zero right now. Cardi mm -hmm. and P8 Body are both one and one. If Cardi wins this, they will have the same record as Ziggurath. Mm -hmm. And I think it could come down to pool percentage points. Okay. So yeah, so this this will still decide who makes that out of the pool, despite Cardi already taking them off. Yeah, really interesting. Excellent. All right. You know, not often you get to see a bracket reset in a pool. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead and see the pristine folder. Where are they? Where are we dropping? The Reason Challenge. Ah, uh, a classic. I see. Now. There's a lot to be said about this, and most of it has been said loudly yeah. <laughs> and a little bit angrily. Yeah, for those of you less familiar with the chart, uh, lots of step jumps, lots of very interesting things. Um, it's really weird DPM range with like some DPM changes towards the beginning, um, and like just the part toward the end with some like weird syncopation rhythms. So, looking like Ziggurath has the higher TV on this than Cardia, that kind of makes sense given Ziggurath's wheelhouse of you know, kind of crushing the super, like, high-octane, high-physically demanding part of the play. Again, card has been sort of locked in all day, so let's see if that translates to the space venture. Ooh, ooh yeah. look at the read speed difference. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. yeah, this is the quintessential, like, if you know it, you know it, and if you don't, you are in for a roller coaster. Oh, yeah. All right. Obviously, they both know it getting gold combo in those early freezes. Part favors Cardia for sure, but it's about right. to get wild. That Cardia nailing the transition. Perfect, yeah. Wow. Oh, ho. Ooh. They're rocking with a story. No one's bigger out. Yeah, it's just, you get so used to seeing Cardia nail all these wonderful little eight streams and, like, well, maybe the step jumps will be trickier. No, they're yeah. just. Keeping on trucking. That's great work. Like, both of them are obviously very familiar with this chart. There's a level of confidence you cannot have just sight reading something like this. Absolutely. Are right, going into the next stop here? Oh, unfortunately, stop with the whole Ziggurat. Ziggurat wincing a little bit, hitting these holes. Yeah. Understandable, a very physically painful start. If you're not here, you get a step up. Yeah. Doing a little bit of the gamer nod there. All right, here's the rhythm. Cool. Oh, all right. Oh. Yes. Looks like Cardi is with a small lead here, but still plenty of time left. Oh. Oh. Still, Ziggurat falls ahead at oh, the very incredible. end by Tiny X. Wow, what a roll with those two. Oh, out the stamina clutch. Yeah. All right, so that was Ziggurat's protect. Um, no, it was still very scary. Shouts out to Cardia for putting up mm -hmm. such a long performance on that yeah. huge money for raise, I think. Like yeah, I was super something thousand, yeah. I was super shocked by the just sharpness of their jump step execution yeah. in the intro too. Like those those are very much a trip over and fall kind of pattern unless you know what you are doing. Definitely. Alright, now we're going to the wind of gold. This one I really like this chart. This one tests a lot of how well can you keep on the rhythm of songs when even when the whole notes don't have colors with it? Mm -hmm. Also just a lot of like interesting to keep in general. It looks like Cardi's got the higher PB here. Um, but I don't think this is totally out of Zigrat's hands because it's still like a pretty I'd say kind of physically demanding 14. Mm -hmm. because 170, 170 stream is pretty fast. Yeah. In you know, coming down to it, I think a lot of the stamina burn on a chart like this is in, do you know where you can ease off a little bit and grab a breather yeah. so you can meter your stamina out better? Like, if you were just sight reading this, it would be more exhausting, I think, yeah. by a fair margin. What I will say is these players are definitely warmed up for the jumps of this chart. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. This is a great example of a 14 that doesn't really have any surprises, but it demands a lot out of your rhythmic accuracy. Yeah, you can never fall asleep at the wheel on this one. going into this break section. <laughs> yeah, but like, you know, you can give it a little more of your all if you know you've got this section to lean back on. Both players handling the syncopated room here pretty well. Hmm. Yeah, Cardia Sting within about 10, 15 EX. Ooh, unfortunately missing Cardia. Yeah. I think this is really where Ziggurat's stamina acuity is going to shine. Because, you know, those freezes are basically all you get for a rest break. Alright, now we're going to the end. Much more jump heavy section, which both players are well equipped for after playing the region. Yep. It's especially brutal if you're low on stamina trying to nail the jumps. Both of them are doing well with it. Ziggurat ahead by about 20 or so here. Let's see if he can hold it off and close out this match. Alright. Great. Ziggurat takes it 2 0 and is your pool 3B winner going 3 0. Shout out to Cardia, though, for coming up from that other pool and giving Ziggurat, you know, honestly, a run for his money here. Yeah, like, their MA is undeniable here. It, it's always wonderful to see, like, you know, you know somebody for one thing, but getting to see them like exercise it in a variety of different contexts, like nailing so much of the reason was like that is a formidable skill level. Definitely. All right, now we're going to 